Our Father Cares, a daily YouTube devotional with Christian Bredahl and the Shepherd's Call team. Join us for today's devotional thought. Good morning. I hope that you have had a wonderful night's rest. And for those of you who are watching this after your day, I hope you had a great, successful day in the Lord. And I hope you're thinking about what we studied yesterday, that true religion promotes health. I'm excited to see what's in here today. I have not taken a sneak peek, so let's have a word of prayer before we begin. Father in heaven, thank you so much that we can come together and reason. I pray that you would please help us to understand what it is that we read. In Jesus' name, we ask for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Enlightened to full radiance. That sounds wonderful. I would like to be uh, full of radiance, right? If we follow on to know the Lord, He is going forth. His going forth is prepared as the morning. So if we follow on to know the Lord, His going forth is prepared as the morning. Hosea 6.3. That's interesting. We'll hopefully have some explanation of what that means. We're living amid the perils of the last days, and we are to cleanse ourselves from all defilement and to put on the robe of Christ's righteousness. The work of God is to be steadily carried forward. We are to bring ourselves, body, soul, and spirit, into subjection to Christ. Unless we do this, the health of the body and soul will be endangered. And You know, it amazes me because before, I can honestly tell you, I did not reason out that what went in this body impacted me because I was basically kind of told you just kind of feed the furnace, you know? That's like, and, and what I mean by that is when you feed the furnace, that means you just put whatever in that fireplace or whatever that will burn, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I was always taught our, our bodies are amazing and wonderful and it's amazing what it can run on. Well, yeah, but it doesn't want to run on that junk. What if we actually put good stuff on? All of a sudden, we go from this little putting car going, the bang, bang, because we're barely getting along. It's, ee, 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 ee. it's all squeaky, and we're barely getting along. And then God says, look, uh, look, I didn't make you to be a little jalopy vehicle here. You are actually like a high-performance machine. And then we put in the right fuel, and then it's like, woo, woo, woo. You know, that's how it's like. How do I know that? Because I felt it both ways. Right. Yeah. There are times when I had so much junk in my life and fast food and, and, and candies and sodas. And that, I mean, that's like all that I had, you know. And if water went past my lips, it's because I brushed my teeth and some got in there, you know. <laughs> I never just drank good stuff. And so uh, I know what I felt like then, but I also know when I'm on, in fact, here, I'll, I'll even let you in the secret. I'm juicing right now. Look at that. That looks like my blood. <gasps> it is. It's the blood of the plant. And I'm drinking this and it's building my blood. And so I'm excited about putting the right fuel in. And when you put the right fuel in, I feel like a race car. I feel like mm -hmm. super Seventh-day Adventist man, right? No. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> uh, Kobe, you want to take over before I get, us, get ourselves in trouble? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Second paragraph there. Okay. God desires his workers to gain daily an understanding of how to reason logically from cause to effect arriving at wise, safe conclusions. So I didn't have safe conclusions before. Right, right. <laughs> so when I'm connected to God, He's going to give me safe conclusions. All of a sudden, ah, put the right fuel in. Right. Mm -hmm. He desires them to add to the strength of the memory. We cannot afford to make mistakes. As little children, we are to sit at the feet of Christ, learning of Him how to work successfully. We are to ask God for sound judgment and for light to impart to others. There is need of knowledge that is the fruit of experience. We should not allow a day to pass without gaining an increase of knowledge in temporal and spiritual things. We are to plant no stakes that we are not willing to take up and plant farther on near the heights we hope to ascend. Interesting. What does that mean? Read that last sentence and then tell me what that means. We are to plant no stakes that we are not willing to take up and plant farther on near the heights we hope to ascend. So I'm saying that's a process that we're in, mm -hmm. and the Lord reveals certain things, and we may say, you know, I got the goals. I mean, to me, it would be a goal. I, I really want to achieve this and be here. 
but we can't be satisfied with just that and think, well, no, I, I achieved. I, I met my mark. Yeah, I, I made it to that stake, mm -hmm. right, the saying, finish line. No, be willing when you get there to pull that I'm up further. and I'm going to even go further wow. now. Wow, yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, love that. And it tells you you don't have to take that stake from here all the way for that first jump. True. That it's okay to make incremental things because I think we gain a sense of accomplishment that way. And it said that earlier, and that's what, what stuck out of my mind, where it said, um, where was it? There is a need of knowledge that is f the fruit of experience. Mm -hmm. See, so the fruit of being with God, connecting to God, and advancing is a, an experience mm -hmm. that we can build right. on. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and the need, there is a need of that knowledge, that's true. There's many times that I certainly want to be around or glean from those who have gained an experience already because I haven't attained it yet. So right. you're thinking, I want to read their information or I want to watch their materials or I want to be around them and ask mm -hmm. questions because you want to learn from their experience mm -hmm. and what they've gone through and how beautiful it is that then we can gain an experience that mm -hmm. others will then want to to glean from Amen. and gain from this. Tyler, will you read those next two for us? Mm -hmm. The highest education is to be found in training the mind to advance day to day. The close of each day should find us a day's march nearer to overcomer's reward. Near the overcomer's reward. Oh, near the overcomer's reward. So every day we've got to get, we're a day closer. What's the reward? Heaven, Heaven, salvation, uh, you know, eternal salvation. Mm -hmm. Day by day, our understanding is to ripen. Day by day, we are to work out conclusions that will bring a rich reward in this life and in the life to come. Uh, I read that wrong. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, did okay. you? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, you skipped. Yeah. <laughs> Looking daily to Jesus instead of to what we ourselves have done, we shall make deci decided advance in temporal as well as spiritual knowledge. Mm -hmm. The end of all things is at hand. What we have done must not be allowed to place the period to our work. In other words, stop it, mm -hmm. like a period at the end of yeah. a sentence. Mm -hmm. The captain of our salvation says, Advance, the night cometh in which no man can work. Constantly we are to increase in usefulness. Our lives are always to be under the power of Christ. Our lamps are to be kept burning brightly. Amen. You know, did anybody have a thought there? If not, I have one. Go ahead. Okay. And then build on it if somebody wants to. Uh, this is interesting to me. I was on a website just um, Sabbath, on Sabbath, and I was looking up, and I was looking up something else and um, of a spiritual nature, and I found this website that was talking about uh, the the fallacies and the, the the heresy of the Seventh-day Adventist beliefs and I went on there and every single thing that they had on there they were absolutely misstating and misrepresenting what we believed and one of them was that Seventh-day Adventists believes they have to earn their way to heaven I said we have never said that our, our church does not believe that at all but we do say when you're surrendered to Christ and the Holy Spirit begins to fill up your life, and Jesus begins to live His life within you, then you will begin, because Jesus was obedient, all of a sudden we become obedient. Jesus was uh, uh, healing the sick, we begin to help and heal the sick. So when Jesus is alive and well in us, we will have a desire to go out and to be like Jesus. Not that we're going, you know what, I really got to go heal somebody today. No, it just happens because He's living, and it, it's, it's an evidence that Jesus is in our lives, right? Mm -hmm. That's the work. That's the work. It, and so the problem is in a lot of religions out there, if you talk about anything dealing with works, then you're trying to earn your way to heaven. No, 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 no. It reveals that I'm on the pathway to heaven. Right. And this is what stuck out to me when you were reading there, Tyler. The end of all things is at hand. What we have done must not be allowed to place a period in our work. In other words, wait a minute, we're going to continue to work? Of course. The captain of our salvation says, Advance, the night cometh in which no man can work. work. 
What night are we talking about? We're talking about the night that Jesus comes. And there's no work, if you will, to help other souls after that point. So mm. we are to be active. We are to be working. It doesn't mean we're earning our way to heaven. It simply means that we know that when Christ lives in us, we will begin to reflect His character and His love and His compassion for other people. Mm -hmm. So there are false religions everywhere talking about you just sit back and Jesus does everything. Really? Jesus goes and feeds all the homeless? Yeah, through your hands. Right. Well, He says, even when Christ came, follow me. Follow. It doesn't sit back and sit on your couch and do nothing. Right. So following Him, you would be active in the works that He did. Amen. And that's the works that He's talking about. And, and when we're out there, outside of ourselves, it's the best place we can be. Mm -hmm. Because when we get in trouble is when we're not serving other people or getting outside of ourselves. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama, you, you'll read uh, the last two, okay. one there, two there. Prayer is a heaven-ordained means of success. Appeals, petitions, entreaties, between man and man move men and act as a part in controlling wait a minute that's right in controlling the affairs of nations but prayer moves heaven that power alone that comes in answer to prayer will make men wise in the wisdom of heaven mm. and enable them to work in the unity of the spirit joined together by the bonds of peace prayer faith confidence in god bring a divine power that sets human calculations at their real worth, nothingness. Mm -hmm. He who places himself where God can enlighten him advances, as it were, from the partial obscurity of dawn to the full radiance of noonday. Amen. Mm -hmm. So the key here, if we look at the last sentence, is what? <coughs> Excuse me. Connecting with God. That's what it is. Places himself where God can enlighten him. So it's so not our works. It's God's workings within us. And through us. Through us. Right? Amen. Being connected with him. He who places himself where God can enlighten him advances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want to advance? The only way we advance is with God enlightening us. Mm -hmm. As it were, from partial experience, obscurity of dawn. You ever been outside when it's just starting to become dawn? Mm -hmm. Can't quite make things out yeah. to the full radiance of noonday. Yeah. When the noonday sun is out, you can see everything clearly. Mm -hmm. And that's what God wants us, uh, wants for us, is that we're not hidden in mystery and obscurity, not knowing and understanding things, but rather it's as clear as it were in noonday. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? So I want to be enlightened awesome. to full radiance, and I hope you do as well. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. And remember, that's right, our Father cares. <laughs> <laughs>